I'm gonna do a quick little video for y'all. Uh, being it's holidays and whatnot, I got some more RAM. Uh, right now I have 16 gigs and I'm gonna update it to 32. So, that's what we gotta do. We gotta take that case off, but first we gotta shut it down. So, I'll be right back. Once again, more RAM. This is how you install it. All right, we got the computer shut down. Now what we're gonna do is take off the case, or the uh, side panel here. Set it off to the side. Set these up here so we don't lose them. Can't really see, can we? All right, I'm gonna get a light. Now that we can see the RAM's right here on the motherboard. Right now, we're using the second and fourth slot right here. And there's a little tab that you pull down to slip these in. And it's really simple to install. So what we do is we open this up and we're gonna use the first and the third slot for these extra two. Assuming we don't break them. All right, there we go. This is the T-Force DDR4 Gaming Dark Z. These were on sale. There is a slot in the card. If you can see right here, there's a slot one side's a little bit longer than the other, so you gotta line those up. So first we're gonna pop open that little latch in there so it slides right in. It looks like the longer side on this board is up top. And you're gonna pull, let's see, can you pop it in? We might have to switch these around. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna move my Corsair over since it's the shorter card. All right, put that in there, put that in there. Pop, pop, hear it click in, that's how easy it is. Just push until it clicks in. Put this one. A little harder to do when you got a bright light in your eye. All right, click, click. There's two clicks. And let's get the last one out. Depending on your case, you have to get short or taller profile. Like the first two I had in there were Corsairs. And they have the shorter profile. So I moved that one over. I should probably move this one over so they're in the same. Move this one over. Pop that out. Push up that lever. Push down that lever. Line it up. And you'll hear click, click, click. There it is. Line this one up. Here, click, 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 click. Now I have Corsair and T-Force in there. These are both 3600, no, yeah, 3600. Instead of the 32 like most come with. So now we're gonna move you up top. Got those put in. We're gonna leave the side case off. We're going to power it on, power button, and we're gonna hit the I believe was it escape, delete button. I think it's the delete button until it pops up in the uh, like safe mode where you can change everything. I believe it's called.
F1 setup. There we go. Oh, monitor, monitor's a little off. All right, so now we're in our settings. So we're gonna go to our settings. Boot, security, system, stats. We want to go to CPU is at 38, DDR is at 36, 36, DDR frequency is 36, 36. It is on 36, so it loaded up correctly. We have the DD or D. Blah. The DDR4 RAM is running at 36 megahertz. Now that we have put in the RAM, you see how easy it was. We went into our settings and made sure that it recognized the RAM, which it did. And then what you do is you... Can I turn this around? Oh, okay, I guess I can't. You load up your regular computer screen go down here and you can hit search and you can type in ram just like this you can see view ram settings and info when you do that you'll now see that right here says installed ram 32 gigs instead of 16 or whatever you came with and then that's the rest that i've installed into it so i've got the amd5 3600x six core processor i've got the 32 gigs of ram now i've got or those are my ID. I probably shouldn't show those, but there you go. That's how easy it is to add RAM into your computer if you just want to upgrade the RAM. And if you're wondering why I look like this, I've been outside all day because this is where I work. So Merry Christmas, be safe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.